a genocide. This is a second Nakba. The public diplomacy minister, Galak Distal Atabarin, says we should be erasing Gaza from the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. The defence minister, Yoan Gallant, calls Palestinians in Gaza human animals. The agricultural minister, Avi Dikta, says we are now rolling out the Gaza Nakba. Anissan Vaturi, the deputy Nenet speaker, says we are too humane. We must burn Gaza now. These are not fringe politicians. These are ministers in the Israeli government. This is the Israeli government's project. I want to see the Palestinians win. I want to see victory to the Palestinians. What does victory really look like? It looks like a single, secular, democratic state in which Jews, Muslims, Christians, atheists, Palestinians, anybody who wants to live on that land lives in peace. Any sort of solution has to include the right to return home for every single Palestinian refugee who exists across the land. Yesterday, hundreds of school children walked out of schools all over the country. And I want to tell you, the next Friday, there is going to be a school strike in Hackney. Also, please join us next Tuesday, the 28th. We are asking the council to divest their pension funds from companies like Elbit, Caterpillar, Raytheon, and others which are complicit in Israeli war crimes. The day after this uh, pension fund meeting, uh, myself and Zoe Garbett, the other Green Party councillor um, on the council, are bringing a motion to the full council meeting saying that we need a ceasefire now. Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Free! Free! Palestine! Free! Free! Palestine! Free! Free! Palestine! Free! Free! Palestine! I'm part of a growing community of Labour councillors who are demanding a ceasefire. We need to end the occupation and they need to dismantle the apartheid system. We need to find every means of protest that we can, whether that's being on the streets, whether that's supporting the Elbert A, very, very brave group of individuals in Palestine action who stopped the arms flow to Israel and they are now facing a five week long trial at Snaresbrook Court. We need to do more of this direct action. we need to start thinking about is taking industrial action. When workers start walking out of the factories, walking out of the schools, walking out of the colleges, walking out everywhere, that's when the alarm bells are going to start ringing. Start talking about industrial action with the people that you work with. See what you know, start talking about it. Make this movement as big, as strong and as effective as it possibly can be. Free, free. Free, free. I want you to put your flags and your placards and your fists in the sky and shout 